bonus stage, the nude who done it. Player one, Tweed. Player two, Luke. Player three, Daryl. Player four, Drew. Begin. Hey, everybody! Welcome to. You're not and recording. What? You're not recording. Yes, I am. Are you? You've been recording this whole time. Drew. What the why fuck that, is wrong? <laughs> why does that button not look pressed? <laughs> you look, you're our content director. <laughs> <laughs> not, not anymore. You were our content director. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm leaving that in. Um, yeah, that would be good. But I think it just cut the rest great. of the show. <laughs> that's great. Welcome, everybody. We're not recording. <laughs> but it doesn't look like. Oh, fuck it, whatever. Yeah. Actually, the timer's going, yeah. Right, right, right. You're such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the right. bonus, everybody. Right. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the... <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you and fuck your dad. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the uh, special extra fucking B-side or whatever the heck we end up calling uh, our extra episodes of After School Arcades podcast. Credit Zero. My name is Paul. I'll be your host for this evening. And I am here with Drew. Hi. My name is Drew. With Luke. Hey. My name is Luke. And with Daryl. Hi. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> and uh, welcome to a very special uh, little extra thing. Uh, fun fact, uh, if you're listening to this on SoundCloud, you could have listened to this a little bit earlier. Yeah. If you supported us on Patreon and cared. Uh, yeah, so th- fun little fact about our podcast. Sometimes we'll do a few extra little thingy things, and uh, you can get early access to them if you wanted uh, by just, like, throwing us a couple bucks on uh, Patreon, and that's going to be one of the incentives. But, yeah, we're going to release all of them after... After a period of time, we're never going to keep stuff completely behind a paywall if it's really significant, like a podcast or whatever. Right, and all the like normal podcasts come out at the same time for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, it's been a fucking weird couple of weeks for us. Uh, I'm sure you guys have been uh, wonderful and hard at work and shit like that. Uh, we're recording this in like mid-July, right after I had to. And I know everyone goes like, oh, you had to take two weeks off. No, <laughs> but my family like e- employed me to do some fucking like hard labor in like way fucking north and it sucked my family sucked but I already got that out of the way so I don't have to explain the bad stuff <laughs> on, talk about on the podcast <laughs> but I do want to cold open with the fact that I fucking it, I, I'm known as like the guy who's like oh fuck you and shut up Genuinely, I really appreciate you guys because while I was at one of the th- one of the sort of the defining features of me going up there was that I I'm this exact same type of personality no matter fucking where I go and my family clearly does ha- has a completely different sense of humor than I do, because never once was one of my sideways remarks even, like, acknowledged. Not even <laughs> laughed at, but, like, they didn't acknowledge when I was just like, you know, if I just made a sort of an off comment and it's like, and there's a bird over there, you know, like, as, as I do sometimes over here. Sometimes- Can we reenact it? Like, we'll be your family It'll and you be- say a little thing? Yeah, honestly, it's just so easy. I could just be say something like, um, oh, look at that, there's butter on the table. that was basically it and like it wasn't even usually they just like go yeah and just talk about something else it wasn't even acknowledged (laughs) and like it's it's hilarious to think about in a vacuum when you think of yourself as a comedian and you get two weeks worth of that shit you start to feel like hmm Am I on a wrong path in life? Yeah. And then you come back here, and I, I already told you, I spent a uh, shout out to Cameron, who's probably listening to this. <laughs> Cameron. Uh, as well as like a few other people, like there's a guy named Tate who's on SoundCloud, he makes music, and uh, Haven, a good friend of the, uh, my mind in the podcast and stuff like that, and just a bunch of cool people. And I was hanging out with them, and I was still making my sideways comments, and like they were just like enjoying them and acknowledging them and laughing at them, and like... I don't want to seem like a dick and say, like, I do these things for validation, but holy shit, when it, when it got validated, it was like breathing again for the first time and going, oh god, this is why I do these things. Yeah. I'm not just an annoyance to everybody around me. And I realized how much of a toxic fucking atmosphere <laughs> that, was in, uh, that was to be around. So thank you all so fucking much for just being cool and being friends and, oh, and laughing at your jokes. Thank you for laughing at my jokes. Yeah. Uh, you're fun. You're fun. You're just like a fun guy. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> That's so, so hard. That's so nice to hear, though. That is. Yeah, yeah that is good. Cool. Thank you. What have you guys been up to in the two weeks that I was away? Let's catch up. Let's let's play a little game of catch up. I got a thing that I want to catch up with you guys, uh, but that'll come later. <laughs> oh my. All right. All right. Uh, Daryl, why don't you go first? <laughs> <laughs> As you stare him down. Also, the mice office. Shock mount. 
It's supposed to be like that, I guess. Yeah. Like the thing, like there, it's off kilter. I'm sorry, I'm bad at things. It's okay. <laughs> Blow the lid off this operation, why don't you? See that? That's my catchphrase yeah, on this I was podcast. Say, yeah. <laughs> Ever since the, the pilot episode. Yeah, I just say that a, a shit ton. So, um,. Daryl, why don't you blow my lid and tell me what you're, uh, <laughs> you've been doing these past two weeks? I honestly, not a whole lot. Ooh, I just been... <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at my phone. Go on. <laughs> why ask me a question? And No, that's okay. Um, yeah, no, not a whole lot. I'm just preparing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got Thanks, patrons, for supporting. <laughs> That's right. What have you been doing? I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> Jack Dick. Uh, Drew, is that is that your final answer, Daryl? Uh, I'm just building towards something. Yeah, I'm going. I'm okay, going on okay. a trip. I'm going. I'm going on a cruise. That's cool. Where are you for going? how long? Fuck's sakes, we're never in the same place at the same time. No. Uh, um, you'll actually have fun on this cruise. I was working. Were you on a cruise? Yeah, I paid for this. No. <laughs> oh, okay, you paid for it. That's fair. That's fair. That's, You're hard, hard in money. It's the opposite, I guess. You got paid for doing that. I'm paying. To and do he this. was on land. Yeah. And I will we'll be in the sea. I'll be on a boat. You'll be on a boat in salt water. Y yeah. You can't fit a cruiser in a lake. <laughs> I'm trying. You've seen the Great Lakes? <laughs> yeah. yeah the Have great... you seen cruisers? Yes. You could see yeah. them from space. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big ass boat. Yeah, well, like with, a, with a telescope, <laughs> you could see it from space. Yeah, most okay. things, uh, a lot of things, not <laughs> humans. With a powerful which means, telescope. Which means that like a, a cruise ship, pretty big. That's like saying a <laughs> can satellite. Fit several humans in it. <laughs> it's like saying a satellite can't see humans. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That's, or is that what you're saying, Drew? That's where you're going? <laughs> Space? Yeah. Oh, it's back to me now? Did uh, you just call him Drew? <laughs> is it Daryl? <laughs> Sorry, you both just look... Now. Nothing alike? Nothing. Yeah. No. Well, actually, there's a, like a similarity. I think I've talked a what, bit before we... about like how it kind of looks like we're in evolution of each other. Like, I think... Who would be on one end of the spectrum? Oh, but me. Really? You think? Yeah, because I'm... Teeny. Actually, yeah. Okay, hold on. Maybe it would be. Size -wise. I'm, I'm on one end of the spectrum, and then it goes to Luke, and then it goes to Daryl, and then it goes to Drew. Am I the most evolved? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You cannot be. You literally just sorted us by height. Like, was there any other factors involved? I'm taller no. than Luke. Yeah, I'm the. I'm much shorter. No, no, no. Oh yeah, sorry. I was. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, I could. If I look more, oh wait, I've got the facial hair. Yeah, never mind. Luke's on one end of the spectrum. Yeah. Then it goes to me because we. We don't look, you guys look more similar than to us than we look similar. Yeah. Like there's two groups of two here. Yeah. Daryl and Drew look decently similar somewhat, by by comparison if to- If you like, really stretch it. Yeah. We, you, you two look more similar than you two look. Everyone- Daryl and Luke. Yeah, yeah. then thank you. Then <laughs> Daryl and Luke look. Everyone in this group has somebody that they don't look similar to. That's fair. So I don't look uh, similar to Drew, which is why uh, I have Daryl in between us, because I look similar to Daryl with the facial hair, uh, and Luke... I only look like him. Uh, ...doesn't look <laughs> like Any of Drew, <laughs> which is why he's next to me, because we both got the hair, and we both got, like, I don't know, we live together. Uh, we look the same? Yeah. Like, like, uh, uh, like a single person and their dog? Yeah. 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 Um, of course it would be a single person. It's not like it would be a half per... Oh. Like a, a person who is not with another human being. Yeah. I didn't know where you were going with that. I thought you were just going like every single person and their dog. <laughs> That'd be good. Luke, how was your two weeks? Oh, it was fine. Uh, Anything happen? <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but uh, it, uh, no, it was good. It was a lonely house without you. Oh, um, it was, uh, but I got to sing a lot, which was nice. It's probably a calmer house without me, too. No, Did, did we mention that, that you two are living in the same house? We did again? earlier, like a minute ago. A minute ago, yeah. <laughs> oh. that, that just happened. Welcome to now, pop, uh, population year, Daryl. <laughs> uh, well. Yeah, maybe if you weren't on your phone in the podcast, you, no one can see that you don't have a phone. So uh, I look like a self-righteous, correct man right now. But we all know for a fact you did have your phone. I was looking at Instagram. <laughs> yes. Yeah, tell your, tell a boss that, yeah. Well, that's what You're not my boss. No. You're not, not my, my boss. Boss. You're not my boss. In fact, I could I could use this as like a business expense right now and just take a picture with <laughs> After School Arcade. Can I get a tax exemption for and, doing a podcast? And like we could go like, hey, there's going to be a podcast episode coming out very soon. Hold Hold on. It. 
Uh, yeah. Just to date it. this episode, this is when we're taking the picture right now. I said, <laughs> to be fair, I said in minute one, we're recording this in uh, in mid July. Yeah. 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 So hold on. All right, everybody get in here. Okay. We're doing this in the fucking podcast. Oh, man. Okay, cool. You listeners. Yeah, have fun. So <laughs> this is so happy. All right. That's Daryl. <laughs> Come on. Daryl, get, get my in. me out of the picture, for God's sake. All right. I'm going to be in the corner like this, so you got to fucking. I look like Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Did I take the picture? Yes! Yeah. Nice. Oh, that is beautiful. That is All high right. quality. I'm going to edit this uh, while you continue to tell me <laughs> about like your weeks, and then, Drew, you can go. Paul, were you the one who took... No, it was my other friend who told me that my father looks exactly like Jack Nicholson. No, it was me. It was it was Costin and then you. Yeah, but I agreed with him. <laughs> yeah, all right. And that's so what that matters. Counts. All right, yeah. Um, I didn't do too much. I did another video. If you guys want to check it out on my YouTube, uh, with AJ, uh, who's a cool dude, and uh, yeah, it's I I Name drop. Did he consent to that? No. Did you want to bleep it out? A dude. <laughs> Just give he, him another name. You didn't mention um, his last name. Ian Malcolm. M yeah, the, Jurassic <laughs> Park. <laughs> yeah, Ian and I went uh, and shot with a few other people, and we uh, we made uh, probably like the most violent video we've done so far. And uh, I blame yeah, Marilyn Manson. You blame Mar <laughs> You blame Marilyn. His he, music uh, has a bad influence yeah, yeah, on the kids. Yeah, he was behind. Uh, 9-11? Yeah. Because, <laughs> um, never mind. Um, yeah, but we made that, and uh, if you guys don't like, like, violent uh, shit, I would say, like, uh, brace yourself, but it's, it's, because it's pretty intense. I, uh, I watched, when I was editing, I was like, holy shit, we really went all out. And if you do like violent shit, you're, yeah, you're gonna love it. You're in for a treat. It's great. Anyway, so that's what I'm, that's what I've been doing these past two weeks. And then drinking beer on the porch. I, uh... You old man, what? Yeah, I, I have, I drink beer on the porch and I'll like, sometimes I'll bring my pillow and my comforter and I'll like half fall asleep. <laughs> you yeah, live like, yeah. on the other side of a street from a school and you sit on the porch and drink beer. This is in the evening. Dude, our, our neighbors... That makes it a little better. Our neighbors do that with wine during the day in mid-June when there still was school going yeah, on. Yeah, with half people naked. Don't, yeah. yeah, people don't get, well, the woman was clothed, the man was not. Oh. Yeah, his name's... Uh, what the fuck? Why, why, why should I do that? Yeah, no. don't name drop your neighbors. <laughs> that did illegal shit in front of a school. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, like, when, it's usually, like, when the sun is setting. And it, uh, it's especially fun when it's, like, a Friday or a Thursday when all, like, the Laurier kids uh, oh, are going by. are going to the bar and I'm just, like, cuddled up. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cool. Drew, how was your two weeks? My two weeks is pretty good. I uh, now have a new niece, which is exciting. Hey! I mean, all right. uh, I didn't do anything for it. Good. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Well done. Thank you. That was, yeah, oh, I'm grossed out, but good job. <laughs> so I have a niece and a niece. I have a niece and a nephew. I have a uh, niece and a nephew. Yeah. Um, and also... <laughs> apply now for 0% of your financing. <laughs> also, there's uh, two new dogs in my life, which is also exciting. No, also had nothing to do with you? My father... <laughs> <laughs> my father got a dog, and my brother got a dog from the same litter. Does Dimitri have a dog? Uh, no, but he loves the shit out of the dog. He loves the shit out of the dog. Yeah, Bear is his name. Bear. Yeah, what? he's five pounds heavier than every other dog. <laughs> My name's Gorilla. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, like, oh, sorry, the dog wasn't given a human name. Uh, that I was like trying to think. Roger. Like, what if you named a human being Cat? And then I realized we do that all the time. <laughs> yeah, we know Forgot. somebody named Cat. Yeah, uh, I know one of my relatives is named Kitten, and she's like 83. And she was one of the own, she was one of the three family members that I actually enjoyed spending time around. And she was a darling. Uh, fun fact: she is like notoriously like. Uh, oh, you gotta slow down on the highways, like the most in the family. Mm -hmm. She did not complain at all with me, and I did. I ended up doing like 140 with her in the car, <laughs> and then we made a stop. She used to be a black belt, but now she's she's not really old, but like she's in her 80s. Old enough. Yeah, old mm -hmm. enough that like it it becomes an issue for literally anybody, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, she 
is so fucking awesome because uh, she's just like the most blunt in the family and uh, I, everyone else in the car went inside to an en route to get like a Tim Hortons or something like that mm -hmm. and she didn't want to go in so I just like opened the door just to give her some air and stuff like that she just sat yeah. in the car and like waited for us and as I was opening the door uh, she leaned in and said and if anybody tries to steal our stuff I'll Deck him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this woman. Oh, yeah. No, everybody who meets her loves this woman. Oh, she is fucking amazing. She sounds so cool. Oh, she's the coolest. Uh, glad to hear your weeks were good. Yeah. Okay. One of you is omitting something. Dun, so, dun, dun. So, um, I cleared this with the person beforehand, but in our last sh regularly scheduled episode of the podcast, we almost finished by saying I was the only one to have ever sent a nude. And I have kept in tabs, relative tabs, with all three of you over the past couple of weeks, and one of you has broken that, uh, that, that rule. One of you has sent a nude, well, and I want to see if you'll fess up. Which one of you ended up sending a nude? I, I pre-cleared it with the person beforehand. I sent them a <laughs> Facebook message uh, after they told me, and I said, I want to bring this up on the podcast. And they and we talked about it, and they ended up saying yes. Ended up saying yes. Yes. Well, I convinced them with much ice cream. I don't think it was Daryl, considering how against it he was last time. Maybe that was a facade? Maybe. Yeah. People was change. it you, Daryl? Uh, I would never admit to it, even if it was. <laughs> Good oh, answer. that's the end of the podcast. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah, I guess a fun fact. Uh, they're not going to admit, like, I told them specifically, don't immediately out yourself. So, Well, have... I know that. I mean, what? <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> so have fun, you three. I want to see if you guys can deduce it for yourselves. At the end of the, this will be like, you ever played uh, One Night Werewolf? Yeah. Where you have to like vote uh, for each other at the end. <laughs> yeah, I want to see if like you guys will come to a consensus because there's three of you. I want to see if like two of you will go like it was Daryl, it was Luke, it was Drew, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'll be Switzerland. I'll moderate this. I want to see. This is the nude who done it. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is, out of the three of us, who's the most desperate? <laughs> this is a me. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying it was Drew, but in the hypothetical that it's Drew, <laughs> immediately opening with that is brilliant. I'm just doubling down. <laughs> this is me admitting guilt. <laughs> Drew? <laughs> How's your love life going? My love life is exactly the way I want it. Interesting. Mm. I think I know who I'm voting for. <laughs> yep, yeah, me too. Yep. <laughs> Have we, we decided? <laughs> Maybe we should do a bit more of a round table. I'm gonna post this Instagram thing while you guys talk amongst yourselves. Right. Make it make it a good egg of the Christie Miss Marple bullshit. There you go. True. Yes. You work in a hot, hot kitchen all day long. This is true. Don't you want a lady to hold? Or a man. Or Surely, a non-binary person. If I'm constantly surrounded by heat, I don't want that kind of body heat around me. Oh. It's like Good when answer. you're not not to get uh, an amount of <laughs> But isn't is it what were you gonna say? I, I was gonna take it to a, a non-sexual place and then I realized the implications of that were probably not great. All right. Uh, yeah, but you know the phrase in heat comes to mind. <laughs> sure and you're does, in Luke. heat <laughs> sure does. All, <laughs> you're in heat all day. Sure, sure. But we just established Send that a sweaty you, nude. You have the hottest bedroom in this house. True. Yes, but Paul I'm... has the coolest. So you're in heat as well. And Luke, you work at a pretty hot place too. It's not. It's well air conditioned. Uh, inside. Yeah. Oh if shit. You're, if you're outside. <laughs> yeah, but that's everywhere else on the planet. <laughs> wow. Well, Antarctica. Yeah. You have air, 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 it's air conditioned in Antarctica. Is that how the world works, Drew? No, like flat out, Earth. Outside <laughs> is not hot. Um, okay, okay, but uh, let's say you're pushing a cart, for instance. Uh, you have to be outside for that, mm -hmm. and you're probably pushing. Yes. By yourself. So you're thinking all day, you're pushing the cards, maybe more than one. <laughs> you're like, what else? I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm trying to figure out what text to put on this Instagram post, and I thought I'd put white men, you know, just to be humorous. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, white men looking for black women is the most popular fucking <laughs> thing. After
after putting white M. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, great. God. Put that in, dude. <laughs> that, that describes one of us. <laughs> oh, so was it a nude to a black man? I was going to say, yeah. Or a black man. Or a black non non-binary. Non -binary. I said nudes to everybody. <laughs> Except my family. That would be weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just got back from being with my family. Even if I wasn't related to those people, I wouldn't send them nudes. Yeah. They don't deserve it. <laughs> be like, if somebody sends me nudes, I'll echo. <laughs> <laughs> Well played. Uh, completely different context. <laughs> Daryl, how's that lady doing from last episode? What huh. the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. There was a lady from last episode? It was, there was like, you had an ex that you got together yeah. with, but I, I, asked, up with again, I asked right? specifically if you broke up afterwards and you said yes. So yeah. Like, yeah. Way, to, way to dredge up old wounds. Yeah, there. well, I mean, it's happened once. It could happen again. Yeah, man, lonely nights. Yeah, just... Yeah, send a pic of your dick. Got your phone sitting minutes. beside you. But like, what does that do? Like sending a pic Get of you your off. dick. Get me off? Yeah. Get, it gets you off, Daryl. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Gets Good you off, Daryl. <laughs> I've got a vote. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. He's so confused. Gets me off? <laughs> what? That's preposterous. I love how when the blame is put to anybody, all the other two people within maybe 30 seconds go, it was him. <laughs> got my vote. Lock it in. Yeah. He doth protest too much. I, the I immortal just, barn set. I, I don't see <laughs> the point. Like, is this... Is this gonna get them on my side? They're gonna be like, oh, that's a picture. Get them on my side. <laughs> that's a picture of. You know what? what I'm I wasn't experience. convinced about your dick, but now that I've seen it, <laughs> I'm a bit more confident. Yeah. That's how America joined the war. Dick they, pics? Yeah, they were. They Britain were like, oh, well, dick pic. it's Liverpool. to get them on their side. <laughs> Gross. Let me. Uh, what? 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 Is it North Ireland? Would be Britain's dick. <laughs> I feel like oh. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> what is it? Wales? Well, probably not. Is it a city in England or Scotland or Wales? Wales? You, seem, you seem very keen on changing the topic, Luke. I don't know about that. Ah, uh, Luke. What? That's a guilty face if I've ever seen one. Who me? I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who little old me? Yeah. I wouldn't send a pic to a fly. So, if I. If I didn't already know, all three of you, you opened it really strong, so I, like, believe you're a good liar. Um, <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. You kept putting the focus on everybody else, so I would think, like, you're a bad liar. And you are, you played completely Sorry, uh, Drew opened like that, <laughs> and then Luke put the blame on everyone else, and Daryl, you were like, what could I possibly gain from that? Knowing very well, realistically, why yeah. people send dick pics. Yes. All three of you, you're I'm starting to think all of you sent nudes, and only one of you <laughs> fessed up to me about it. <laughs> We all think you're talking about us. Yeah. <laughs> we like sent dick pics to each other and none of us know about it. It's like the departed except dicks instead of police. <laughs> yeah. Mark Wahlberg's in it. Yeah. <laughs> Not with him, with things on his shoes. With things on his dick. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what is that, a pajazzle? Do you guys do you guys do you guys know who you're gonna vote for? Yeah, yeah. I know what I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna vote for. I mean, you, I if know. You need, if you need more time to to ask, you can. I know who I'm voting for. All right, all right. I'll 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 moderate. So hands up, everybody, for the new who done it, and point on three. One, two, three. Yeah, all right. It was me. It was Luke. It was me, and I regret it so badly. You got caught. You, yes, because it was a. It was probably a fucking scam. You want me to tell you about that? A scam. Because she kept to being super dick? specific about a certain kind of picture and she's like put your face in it and i'm like no, no. yeah and i'm like no i'm not gonna do that and she's like come on i'm s and then she like grabbed no, 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 please please she's I'm like come on i'm so wet right now <laughs> yeah. and i'm like this isn't how people talk <laughs> and yeah no i was and i was really i was really hot and bothered and i almost did it and then i remember your rule of never put your face in it i'm like this feels suspicious good on you for for uh for <laughs> hearing that and then Two days after, another woman I matched with on Tinder was like, "Hey, uh, yeah, no, I'm. I just need to do something for the weekend, you know, like I have needs or whatever." And she's like, "But before you do, uh, 
can you go on this website, this like Tinder that's, safe? Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that one's just bullshit. Yeah, and then I did, a, and then I created a username, and then they asked me for my credit card number, and I'm like, again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never. whenever they ask you to go to a different website, it's always a scam. Yeah. Um, Especially like credit card numbers to validate your age. <laughs> yeah. Like, excuse yeah. me? Uh, yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah. Uh, fucking, what were my rules again on nudes? I had several. Good lighting. Good lighting is one of them, because no one ever adheres to that, so you will stand out immediately. Mm -hmm. Uh, not in a washroom. Not in a washroom. Mm -hmm. Because even just without, like, the toilet being in the picture, <laughs> even then, like, everyone can go, like, oh, you took it in your washroom, okay. But if you take it in, like, your bedroom with good lighting, people think that you're more good as a person for some like strange classy? reason. classy? I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, gotta the, get a classy dick pic. Legitimately, the uh, the only time it's ever been mentioned that there was a washroom in the pic, even when there was like nothing like gross about it, mm -hmm. was like, oh, it's it's in a washroom as opposed to like, whatever. That's where you took it. Yeah. So there's there's two other rules. Uh, never no put face. your face in it. Never put your face in it, which I didn't, because I knew I was like, Paul said so. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> uh, yeah, and not to mention, why would you want to sleep with someone who's like not respecting your boundaries on taking dick pictures. That's what I said, because <laughs> yeah. she kept, like, pushing and pushing, and I'm like, and I'm like, no, I'll, and because she was saying, like, I'll come over uh, tomorrow, but I'll come over tonight if you send that pic. And I'm like, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, she, like, did, like, this big graphic thing of, like, what she'll let me do to her if I take that pic. And I spent, sent back, haha, see you tomorrow. <laughs> did you? Yeah, oh, yeah. Shot down yeah. so hard. Let me oh, guess, man. you didn't see her the next day. No! Yeah. And I literally, like, after I went for a walk and I felt really gross, and I'm like, you know what, fucking don't come tomorrow. Oh, Cause really? I, Yeah, because I was like, that if you don't respect my boundaries over text, then I don't really want it, you to come over. Look at this, we're growing as people! Yeah! I, made, I recently made a Facebook post about fucking boundaries in a completely different situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 different mm -hmm. context. Yeah, my family were dicks and I unfriended a bunch of them on Facebook. There you go, there's the whole story. Boom! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> 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 I just doubled down on the <laughs> three uh, times. So uh, the last rule was include something other than the dick in yeah, the picture. Your body. Yeah, something of your body. Because if it's just pure dick, especially if it's like not even balls, <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. Just, just like pure dick. Yeah, yeah. it's just boring. Yeah, you're just seeing a. a you're basically like showing a finger in your picture. Yeah. <laughs> also, the whole the charm is the fact that the hand moves it. Yeah. I also like this tan line. <laughs> They can't Again, see it. I don't see anything. <laughs> you don't see this tan line. The listeners It can't. looks like I'm wearing a glove. Okay. Um, <laughs> you can see this. Yeah, I yeah. saw this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Also, like, I've heard from several women of, like, you know, like, the penis, like, the penis on itself. The penis industry? The penis. By Are they working for big penis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. High fives. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, like a dismembered penis is not attractive to a woman, essentially. I don't, I think she was making Dildos a lot of- exist. Yeah, but like, it's not, she was making a generalization, like, don't send dick pics because that's not attractive to women. And I'm like, oh, I'm sure it's attractive to some women, but yeah. maybe not most. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry that we keep talking about sex so much on this yeah, fucking podcast. I like it. It's beautiful. Is it? Not our conversation, but sex. All right. Yeah, I like it. It's great. <laughs> I'm, ha I'm, I'm, I'm having a great time. <laughs> that is entirely fair. <laughs> uh, do you mind if I divert it away for a second? Do it. Okay. So once again, when we last ended our July podcast, it's possible the August podcast has come up for you non-payers yeah. uh, before, uh, before this one. But uh, when we last left off the July podcast, uh, I talked about how um, me and you went uh, to see a bike thief and Paul stuff like that. And, uh, Paul and Luke. Went to see the <laughs> house of a bike thief, but we didn't go inside. Myself and my friend, um, not Luke, not Luke, oh, um, no. a, a female friend who's like really fucking badass. She wears like a a leather vest, so she like looks. The <laughs> oh, that's a badass. She well, she's also very muscular, and she looks. Uh, I'm badass. not sure if this is like uh, this is actually relevant. She's Asian, so for some reason that with like the the. Uh, denim uh, That's just because you play sleeping and dogs all the time. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not stereotyping. I'm not stereotyping. Uh, so, just that combined with the muscular nature and the, the leather ve uh, vest just makes her look like she's like the most fucking powerful person in the, mm. on the planet. Yeah, she's intimidating. Yeah, no, yeah. she's like the best kind of intimidating where yeah. it's like, you are awesome and I feel yeah. like yeah. worried about fucking being seen with you. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's very cool. She's the coolest. Yeah. She and I explored one of 
of those empty derelict houses together, and it was pretty cool. Uh, I got I got some member of memorophilia. Oh fuck, uh, memorophilia. Yeah, I found this baby. What you, is it? You stole a record from somebody? Yeah, with no with... records. The Johnny Mathis collection. Ooh, Johnny, Johnny Mathis, Mathis is good. Yeah. But there's no cover. It's it's a straight up just a plain record. Yeah. There's no dust cover or anything. It was on an, it was like hanging up on the wall. <laughs> Johnny and I Mathis. stole it. <laughs> also Johnny a Mathis. Halo poster. Yeah. And a and a Lego sign. <laughs> Who, wow, okay, that hold on. side is wrecked. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's think about the kind of person in which the Venn diagram of <laughs> Lego signs, Halo, and Johnny Mathis exists. <laughs> I don't want to think. Well, to be fair, it was one of those like pseudo apartments where it was clear there were different student places. Okay. So it was different people. Oh, okay. So but you yeah. took one person, one thing from each person. Yeah. So yeah. Like, are you Goldilocks? No. So it's, like, it's like I'm a serial killer thing. <laughs> yeah. So it's like someone who's someone who's like eight, someone who's like eleven, and someone who's sixty-five. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What's the issue? They you just walked all out. living in apartments, just like cool roommates, dude. Uh, what? They're like, these are my trophies now. Yeah, yeah. And I was like holding those things. I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to exploring old places. I just accepted it at this point. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> so uh, I, uh, uh, myself and my friend, we went up to like the second floor. And by this tough point, we've we've looked into like maybe 18 different like student rooms. Uh, we even found. A ceiling fan, and in another place, like a little stuffed cat. What? <laughs> and we thought it would be hilarious to find like a rope type no! thing, tie it around the cat's neck, <laughs> no! and hang it from the uh, from the ceiling fan for the next person <laughs> who found it. I have a picture of this if you don't believe me. <laughs> and just spin it a little bit so it slowly rotates. Oh no no no! It, it, it's gonna stop rotating by the time the next person gets in. But imagine the next person getting in and seeing that in a derelict house. That's gotta be the scariest okay, they're like, fucking thing on the planet. Oh, play. my record disappeared. I have to look around the house for my record. And what just, the fuck? Yeah. Can I uh, tell a story about that? It's someone else's story, but I had a friend in high school who used to live way in the booties in Aurelia. Like, outside of Aurelia. The boonies booties. Boonies boonies. Yeah, and there was an abandoned house near his place. And they were like, it's like farm country, so it's like way in the field. And one day, there was a light on. And there's like this Aliens. is like this is like boarded up. There was a light on in the house, and they're like, well, "Do we go over there?" No. And so his his dad and his like Alien. two. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, uh, and I uh, stop pointing at me. No one can see it. <laughs> I uh, but he uh, he his father. His two neighbors and him, I think, all got like rifles and went in to investigate, and they went in and it was like he's like it's the scariest thing i've ever done in my life he was at the back he was like 13 and he like went in and was like trying to investigate this house and they went into the room with the lights on and there were dead animals nailed to the wall ah! <laughs> like raccoon actual animals yeah this was a stuffy of a cat yeah, yeah. This, this wasn't is, an actual cat this we... is real animals raccoons squirrels rabbits like, that's, a, that's genuinely a serious like bro. things yeah. that you can catch and he's like, that was like, he's like, I've never been the same since I've that been is in that house. Terrifying. Yeah. Like roadkill looking shit, or no, like... like he caught it, or they caught it. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Yeesh. Yeah. Remember that time when I think I forget where it was, where there was like this, like there are all these like animal slayings, and uh, they knew they. Uh, it was somewhere in Ontario, but it was like. Yeah, they they were like, this guy's gonna become a serial killer because we gotta catch this guy because he do things like leave animals on like people's porches yeah, and like skin did. them. And, and like, like that was his first step. Yeah, yeah, and they he and then like it came out in the paper and like the next day like a goose was left on like the Humane Society's doorstep and Jesus. it was skinned and the police went there and investigated and they realized it was done with a scalpel, which is even oh, more fucked up. Yeah, that's so creepy. Yeah. Ugh, I don't mean to change the topic of <laughs> that wonderful thing, but I've decided that the caption on this post is going to be from the, the, the Donkey Kong rap. Uh, so, you <laughs> know, like, he's finally here. So instead, it's, you're finally back, recording for you, doing a podcast, and Daryl's here too. <laughs> 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 oh, cool with that? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Uh, so yeah, and I've got the hashtags as content creator, content, podcast, white men, DK, Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> not white, white men looking for <laughs> black <laughs> women. <laughs> yeah. If also, we're doing a Donkey Kong thing, that could be misconstrued. Oh, yeah. Super oh, racist. Oh, yeah. Also, white men does sound like we're doing like an alt right podcast. <laughs> like we're like hashtag white men, hashtag white pride. All it's right, like, fine. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. out. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, I'll just put after school arcade. God knows, there's like. How many how many times has that been posted? Five public posts. Yeah, I, I hashtag after school arcade. Oh, okay. I was about thing. to say like we, we're suing. Yeah. We need to be suing you. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Uh, myself, my cool friend in my derelict in that derelict house. We've been exploring it for about an hour now. We yeah. get up to the second floor, and we come across a room that's pristine. Every other room is like full of like broken glass and old stuff. They apparently had to move out really quickly. There was water damage. Like you could smell the poop, and it was awful. And we get up to this one room that's just immaculate. And the, there's an open closet with like a couple of bags, no dust on them. And like a light where you can like clip and push it and it turns on. And the window is open. It's on the second floor, but the window is open. Right? What the? So, what? so we're, we're talking, we go like, dude, we, someone definitely uses this place to like house like drugs or something like that. Yeah. We decided to look in the bags we found nothing. We just figured, okay, that's fine. We put it back, and then I realized, nope, that's not the way it was when we we uh, when we first entered. So I like readjusted it, and we just talked about like, what is what are the odds that this room is? And then, middle of the sentence, we heard like <laughs> from downstairs. Oh, oh my fuck. god! And she and I, no joke of a lie, ran into the closet and just like hid there in the corner, and we're just like breathing heavily. <laughs> we were like smiling and laughing about it, but oh. like. Every occasionally so often we just hear like like some sort of like clear indication there absolutely was someone in the house. Just like every oh. so often. Oh my god. And we and like we were just joking going like this is we're dead. This is the day we die. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually we uh, we went from joking to like we can't hide in here. It's probably not like if it if there's no one, it's silly. If there's someone, we can't like wait for them to find us. Yeah. So we talked to logistics, and uh, we talked about how she was more muscular, but I had more self defense training, so I'll go in front. Mm -hmm. Um, we talked about like flashlights. I maintained that we should uh, aim the flashlights towards ourselves so we can quickly turn it off like, mm -hmm. without having to press something. Yeah. But she maintained put it forward so that we can see them and they can't see us because they'd be blinded. Mm -hmm. But they wouldn't know that we're there, uh, and. Like, you can imagine, like you said, she's intimidating. We had a disagreement on where to uh, shine the flashlights, so she won. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we just, like, quietly tiptoed out, and, like, maybe once in a while we heard just, like, a small creak, but we didn't hear anything else. We determined that, like, they probably were as scared of us as we were of them, and it wasn't mm. just, like, a homicidal... Usually, yeah. even if someone's doing something illegal, like housing crack, mm. they're, all, they're not also the type that, like... Will want to kill you and is good at it. Yeah, they want to hide that shit. Yeah, yeah. You also, get to pick like maybe two maximum, one usually. But that, um, that's almost the scarier thing. Like I find like people who are like super afraid and like super guilty will like fuck you up because they're like, I can't be caught for this. Like a or, cornered animal. Yeah, yeah. It's like how like um in like gang culture, it's like the head of the gang is never the scariest one. It's the one who <laughs> wants to be the head of the gang. Little person who feels like they have something to prove and they have like instability because they'll they'll like they'll fuck someone up. Mo, bop, Green. Bop, 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 bop. Mo Green, that's why he died in The Godfather. Yeah, mm. I'm smart. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just wanted to make a reference. <laughs> I'm smart. I, I can't in the, in the boat. That was really scary. Yeah, no, I'm that thinking was about that a lot. And that's a great climactic uh, finish to like, uh, hey, uh, I. How is what did it begin with? Because I remember we explored behind the bike thing. Yeah. But like beforehand, there was something else that I did, and I don't remember what it was. And like you and I exploring behind the house was like chapter two, and then chapter three was going inside the house. This is act three. Yeah. Uh, to this day, uh, that friend denies she's an adrenaline junkie. Ex <laughs> but three days ago, she messaged me going, "Yo, I upgraded my uh, breaking and entering kit. You ready to go explore some more houses?" <laughs> She's definitely a, a minor <coughs> adrenaline junkie. Wait, she texted you this? Yeah. You know that the NSA could read that? <laughs> oh, they don't. Dude, if the NSA could bust us for shit, yeah. they would have busted many of our previous conversations that we even had as hypotheticals. Oh, okay. Uh, we, we've talked about some really, like, weird shit. She's also no holds barred. If you get yeah. close enough to her, she will talk about some weird shit with you. I'm looking at you specifically, Daryl, because you probably know her the most out of all of us, or longest. Oh, uh, is that who you're talking about? What? Huh? 
Listen to the description that Paul gave a little while ago. Intimidating yeah, yeah. an Asian. Do, oh, yeah. Are there even two people in Waterloo that are like that? Uh, no, well, I Wait, don't does Waterloo have a high Asian population? Yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah, what yeah, am I talking about? Asian. What was I thinking? St. Catharines is what I was thinking about, where there's yeah. like no Asian people there's... except at Brock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fair. Uh, do, do, yeah, yeah. In, yeah, you know. You know. You know. Yeah, she's totally an adrenaline junkie. That's my point. That's the point I was trying to make. Yeah. Yeah. Well, should we end the podcast? If you want to, I'm sorry if we've been going on for too long. We're in good time, actually. For a bonus episode, this is pretty nice. Yeah, this was pretty nice. I'm... And that's a good place to end it. Yeah, I am happy <laughs> to. Do you want me to shut up? No. <laughs> yeah. I, I just want to reiterate, after spending two weeks with my family, which, like, did not have the same sense of humor as me, uh, again, I won't air my dirty laundry on this fucking podcast, but we're condescending as fuck, and I hate it most of my time around them i am super happy to be back with you guys and creating content and doing shit snapping fingers wait if everyone snaps it sounds like rain i i can't snap not really yeah it, but if there were like 20 of us yeah and you have to like build up with the like the thing and then yeah, you snap yeah, yeah. all right you you do the like... you do the legs you do the legs we do the snapping no, that's not what I he means. I don't think you're gonna hear it. No, no, no. Do it anyway. Snap. No, you snap. You snap. You snap. You do legs, Drew. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Take right. go away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is this has been this has been Tweed or Paul, Luke, Drew, Daryl, and we're signing off until we see you next time. You fucking idiots. Thanks, Patreon. Uh, subscribers. Thanks, Patreon. <laughs> Thanks, Patreon. Thank you, Patreon. Thank you, Patreon. Bye. Farewell.